I'm giving you a quick look at my Rheem Prestige Series professional model of water heater. This is a hybrid electric water heater. And this upper unit that I'm showing now is where the condenser is, the heat pump that extracts warm, moist air from my ambient air in the basement here and blows out cooled, dehumidified air, which is perfect for summertime. Okay. Now, I haven't turned on the display yet, meaning it's on a very dim mode when you walk up to the unit. But if you touch it anywhere, there you go. It gets brighter. And just a quick overview of the display. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Um, yeah, that'll work. Not a whole lot to look at here. Under settings, you can see that we're set to Fahrenheit and a bunch of factory defaults. Wi-Fi setup, I'm not going to bother showing that. You just go in and you type in your Wi-Fi password. Uh, you do launch an app and create an account as well. Um, status, once it's installed, looks like this. All right, we can see what's happening right now. And then under sensors, we can see the current temperatures in the various tanks and areas of the system. Wi-Fi status shows us signal strength and all that in detail, but even from the main screen, you can see how many bars. I've got three out of four bars of Wi-Fi here. All right, head over to service. Okay, gives us phone numbers and serial number and all that, and then any alarms. I have none. I probably should test the actual uh, uh, leak detector. This is the filter. You'll need to leave enough clearance to pull it out and clean it every few months. Let's do a quick alarm test. Actually, I should show you uh, $110 a year is what this is estimating. If you have 12 cents a kilowatt hour in your area. And my article talks about how to calculate that for yourself. Over here, we have a quick release for the water detector. You just plug it in or rest it in your uh, drip tray. Got a glass of water here, so let's go ahead and get this to alarm. Um, the app should go off, but that's on the phone I'm recording on, but also an audible buzzer or alarm of some sort should go off too. Hmm, it's pretty wet. I don't really want to get water trapped under the unit. So that seems like it's submerged. Let's see what's going on on the display here. Absolutely nothing. So maybe it needs to be submerged. That rust stain on my concrete floor is from my previous water heater's death last week. It leaked. All right, so the entire probe is now submerged. I don't know how long it takes for this thing to go off, but if we look under, was it service? Alarms, there we go. This is what it looks like if you're on the main menu. Service is trying to get my attention and alarms is trying to get my attention. Okay, but I've dried off the probe a couple minutes ago with some paper towel, so I should be okay now, but I don't know. It's showing current and history. And my phone's text message did show up from Reem saying I have a, a leak. Clear history. And that's it. We're all set. And next, mode. I'm in heat pump mode. There's a video from Reem that actually goes over each of the modes and distinguishes them from one another. And also the um, noise level. So let me go ahead and show you that. Okay, we seem to be around 34 decibels for uh, ambient noise level in this unfinished area of my basement. Go ahead and turn the unit on. Right around the 49 dB that the unit is rated at. A couple of things to point out. The camera's only three feet from the unit, and I have no lapel mic on. I'm intentionally using an iPhone XS Max uh, built-in mic, which, uh, which has automatic gain, which is really gonna accentuate the noise volume, or the noise level uh, that the unit's putting out. This is the quietest system, or uh, there might be one unit that's quieter, but not nearly as readily available. 
this particular hybrid electric is available widely now at Home Depots. Um, the model will vary slightly. It's called um, slightly slight different different variation on this sticker here, and it doesn't have the word professional, but it's the same unit, same characteristics, same specifications, same all of that. I would recommend a professional install um, because you're talking about replacing perhaps a gas system where you need to cap your lines. Hopefully this quick little video was helpful and informative. Thanks for watching.